Hello everyone, welcome back to Hannah Watkins TV. Today I want to share with you some really quick, last minute, and easy, beautiful candle holder DIYs that are great for gift giving this season. You're going to need some of these 5 inch glass plates for candle holders I purchased from Walmart. And some of these candle holders here that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Some looking glass that I purchased from Michael's Craft Store. Some permanent glue some hot glue and some patience so although this DIY is very easy to create it's very detailed and it's only as detailed as you choose to make it so I'm going to take this looking glass and I spray the plate outside so that I can get this mirror effect and I also did this to the base of two of the um, glass candle holders and you will see that in the ending um, I don't show you guys it on camera so you're going to add your hot glue and your permanent glue so that you can create a bond so you can put the plate on top of the candle holder. Now we're just going to embellish this candle holder with some bling wrap and some other embellishments. Um, it's optional you guys you do not have to embellish it with all of this bling but if you're like me you love a glamorous candle holder and so you want to throw as much bling at it as possible and so that is what I am going to attempt to do and I'm going to just wrap it right around the perimeter of the top portion of the candle holder all right you guys we'll get a sneak peek of how everything looks at the end of the video so um, it's pretty self-explanatory though you guys it's really not hard at all so just take your time and just be creative Now I'm going to add some of these pearls that I picked up from my local Goodwill store. They were pretty but kind of old fashioned but I thought they were perfect to adorn this candle holder. And so I'm going to add it there with some hot glue. And now I am going to add on this beautiful piece from Totally Dazzled. If you guys are interested, the link will be in the description box. It is a affiliate link. I am going to pop off the little pin that comes with it on the back because it is actually a brooch. And it's very simple and easy to do that. I'm going to pop it off and hot glue it down to the center of my candlestick holder. And these little trio candle holders are perfect for holding candle jars such as the Bath and Body Work candles or any type of jar candle holder. So I thought this would be a very inexpensive and very cute gift to give this season. So we're going to move on to DIY number two. To do this DIY, you're going to need three of those taller jars and a few of the candle holders. I think you need about five of the candle holders, some mixed little berries of your choice, all optional, some bling of course. So we're gonna take the bling and we're gonna wrap it around the bottom perimeter of these candle holders, which were purchased from the Dollar Tree. So the bling is from Totally Dazzle as well. You're just gonna cut off what you need and hot glue it down around the bottom base. 
and we're going to do that for all three and after we get that all glued on we're going to then take some of the Dollar Tree Christmas um I think they're called like the Christmas branches or something like that I can't remember the name right now you guys but I will have it linked in the description box and we're going to then wrap that around the um, bling to give it a festive look since this is a look for the holiday this is also another gift that would be perfect for giving to someone for the Christmas holiday um, you can give it to them as a single candle holder or you can give it to them as a set which is a trio and it also makes a beautiful um, centerpiece for your um, holiday activities if you're entertaining or anything like that this will make a wonderful inexpensive centerpiece as well Now here again, I am using bling wrap to adorn my candlestick holders and to just jazz it up. It's optional, you guys. And I'm also going to take some little um, accent pieces like I did with the first candlestick holder. I'm going to add some to these as well. that they seem to cure better if they don't touch each other. Give it a little bit of a hold and uh, move on to the next part. So we're going to connect two together on each and then one by itself and add these gems. And moving on to one of our next to the last steps is to add these mirrored candle holders to this now tall candle holder that we are creating. And these are from the Dollar Tree. Now I chose to use two circle mirrored candle holders and one octagon one. Um, that's just a personal preference. You do not have to do that if you don't want to. And you're going to just glue those mirrors down with some permanent glue and some hot glue. Again, the same type of method as gluing the candlestick holders together because we want to make sure that nothing falls off. So that is what we're going to do. And we'll apply a little bit more pressure. And then once we have all of those mirrors together, we are then going to glue down our final piece, which will be the um, part that will be actually holding the candle holders. And you're going to see me only use hot glue. And I put a 
lot. If you do put quite a bit of hot glue on there, it's not going to go anywhere, although it will not be permanent. It's more like a semi-permanent. You have to do a lot to get it to fall off. So I only use the hot glue just in case I decide to disassemble that port top portion of this candlestick holder and put another piece there. So another optional step is to add berries to adorn our candle holders. Um, I had some on hand in white, red, and silver, and so I'm just going to randomly place them on around the bottom base of the candle holder using some hot glue. Um, I really love the way that it looked. Adding the red definitely made the candle holder pop. So yes indeed, Christmas is right around the corner, but it's not too late to make some last minute gifts. And I hope I have inspired you with these candle holders that are so glamorous and so easy to recreate, very affordable, and I'm sure your receiver will be so appreciative to receive them as a gift for this holiday season. So I hope I have inspired you guys as always. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then go ahead and give me a like. Smash that subscribe button if you not have joined the channel. I would love to have you as a member here at Hannah Watkins TV. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you do like about the DIY or whether or not you was inspired. As always, I love you guys. I do appreciate your time for watching, subscribing, commenting. All of that really does matter, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. As always, peace, love, and blessings, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful and blessed night. Bye-bye.